Hey guys, welcome to the 15th C programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a program that will generate the first 20 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Now you're probably wondering what the Fibonacci sequence is. Well, the Fibonacci sequence is basically just a sequence of numbers, where the first two numbers are 1. To get the third number in the series, you just got to add the two previous numbers together. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 5 plus 8 is 13. And it just keeps going on and on like that forever. Now we're just going to be making a program that will generate the first 20 numbers in the sequence because after that the numbers get pretty big. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do right here is just create two integer variables to hold the first two numbers in the sequence. So we're going to say int first number equals 1. Then we're going to say int second number equals uh, 1 as well, since the first two numbers in the sequence are both 1. Then what we need to do is just print out those first two numbers onto the screen. So we're going to say printf um, modulus i and line, uh, modulus i and line. And we're just going to replace uh, this modulus i with the first number, then we're going to replace this second modulus i uh, with the second number. So we just need to do comma, first number, and then the second number after that. All right, then what we need to do is just create a for loop that will loop through some code 18 times. And you're probably wondering, 18 times, why don't we do 20? Because we're trying to get the 20 numbers in the sequence. Well, we already have the first two numbers, so 20 minus 2 is 18. So we just want it to loop through those lines of code 18 times. So we're going to say for int i equals 0 and we just need to create this integer variable to count how many times we've gone through the loop and then we're going to say while this integer variable called i is less than 18 then we just want it to do our code inside the loop then after it's gone through and done all the code inside the loop we just want it to increment i by 1 so what it's going to do right here is just create a new integer variable called i then it's going to check and see if i is less than 18. Is 0 less than 18? Yes, so it's going to do the code inside the loop. Then it's just going to add 1 to i, so i is now 1. And then it's going to check and see if 1 is less than 18. Yes, it is. So it's going to do the code in the loop. And it's just going to keep doing that over and over again until i is equal to 18. Then it's just going to go ahead and exit the loop. And this right here will basically just count the number of times that our loop has run. So we only want our loop to run 18 times. All right, now the code that we're gonna have our loop loop through is actually going to be more than just one line of code. So we're going to have to need curly braces. So I'm just gonna do two curly braces just like that. All right, now the first thing that I'm gonna do inside of our loop is create a new integer variable to hold the value of second number. So I'm gonna say int temp, since this is going to be a temporary variable, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set equal to the value of second number. Then what I'm going to do is say second number plus equals the value of first number. Now basically what this is going to do right here is just generate the next number in the sequence. So what it's doing right here is this is our second number right here and it's adding the value of the first number to it. So then we get two and then here is our new second number. Now what we need to do is make our first number what the second number previously was. And we have that value stored in this temporary variable right here. So all I need to do is say first number equals temp. Then I just need to print out onto the screen the value of this second number right here. So I'm just gonna say printf modulus i and the line. And we just wanna replace that with a second number since that's what we're printing out onto the screen. All right. So once again, let me just go ahead and run through this one more time. We're just creating two integer variables to hold the first two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, which are both 1. Then we're just going to print both of those numbers out onto the screen. Then we're creating a new integer variable called i to hold the number of times that we've looped through our loop right here. Then it's just going to check and see if i is less than 18. So is 0 less than 18? Yes, it is. So it's going to go ahead right here and enter the loop. Then we're just going to go ahead right here and create a temporary variable to hold the value of second number. The value of second number is 1, so temp is equal to 1. Then it's going to say second number plus equals first number. 
So it's saying second number plus equals first number. So the value of second number is now two. Then it's gonna say first number equals temp. Remember temp is holding this value right here. So now first number's value is one. And then it's just gonna go ahead and print out second number onto the screen. Then it's just gonna go back up to the top and run through that code again. So now first number is equal to this right here and second number is equal to this right here. So after it goes through all this code one more time, the value of first number is going to be two and the value of second number is going to be three. All right, it's, and it's just gonna keep going and going through that 18 times. All right, so let's just go ahead and run this and make sure that it works. Yep, onto our screen we get one, one, two, three, five, and so on. So as you can see right here, these numbers get pretty large towards the end and that's why we're only generating the first 20 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.